You know, I always wondered what it would be like if I was a Peanuts character. Hmm. Hello everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review the Peanuts movie! So, the Peanuts movie is by Blue Sky Studios and it is written by the Schultz family. So the Peanuts movie is about when Charlie Brown wants to talk to the little redhead girl, but of course he's shy around girls as boys around his age would be. And he just tries to find a way to impress her. So when I went to the Peanuts movie, I was hyped out of my mind for this movie because I love the Charlie Brown specials. I actually watch them every year during the holidays. Like I would watch the Thanksgiving special every Thanksgiving or the Christmas special during Christmas or the New Year's every New Year. So you know, no matter what the holiday is, I'm always finding myself watching these Charlie Brown specials because they are classics in my opinion. And as you can see, as I showed you, I have the Charlie Brown stuffed animal, I have the Snoopy stuffed animal, and I'm actually even wearing the Snoopy shirt. I need a drink as I'm reviewing this movie. And it was also interesting that Blue Sky Studios was actually doing a Charlie Brown movie, and the fact that the Schultz family are actually in control of this project. Now I know not many people are a fan of Blue Sky Studios. I think I'm in the minority in terms of me not really minding Blue Sky Studios. If you don't know who they are, they're in charge of making movies like the Ice Age movies, the Rio movies, Horton Hears a Who, Epic, and one of my favorites from them, Robots. So really, I've honestly enjoyed every animated film from Blue Skies, except for Continental Drift. That was just okay. And coming out of the Peanuts movie, I had a big ol' smile on my face. I loved the Peanuts movie so much, guys. First of all, the animation. It looks fantastic. The animation really stays true to the animation we would see in the Charlie Brown cartoons. And they transformed it into 3D form, but even though it's in 3D animation, it still stays true to the traditional animation, which I really love so much. And I loved how it would keep the expressions from the characters, like when Charlie Brown would blush, it was actually hand-drawn blush. Or like when Snoopy makes his expressions, it's the normal Snoopy expressions we would see in the cartoons. Everything in details, despite it being 3D, were all still there. Not to mention, this film didn't modernize the Peanuts characters. They weren't holding cell phones, they weren't holding laptops, they weren't on their PS3 or anything, because I really don't think modernizing the Charlie Brown's characters would work. Maybe it could have, but it just wouldn't feel as fresh as they did when they went old fashioned here. Of course, I love seeing Charlie Brown here. Charlie Brown has always been a character I love so much. Snoopy, by far, he is my favorite Peanuts character. However, it was such a joy just to see Snoopy on the big screen. And Bill Melendez, may he rest in peace, he was the voice for Snoopy and Woodstock. And apparently I heard that the sound effects that Bill Melendez made, they actually put those into film. And the fact that they still credit him, which I think that's a nice way to honor the man because he really did make such tremendous sound effects just to fit the personality of the characters. All the characters are the characters we know. Like Lucy is still the mean bossy girl. Linus is still the kid with the blankie. Sally is still the girl that has a crush on Linus. No one has changed here and that's honestly wonderful to see. Everyone still has the personalities we know and love. Storyline here it is very basic but that's what makes this film honestly great, is the fact that they did keep it basic. Is the fact that, yeah, it may be the same as the cartoons, but how they expanded it into a movie 
it was honestly really impressive. And I know there's criticisms regarding too many Snoopy Red Baron moments, but personally, I love those moments. They didn't detract from the Charlie Brown moments to me personally. I love the Snoopy Red Baron moments as much as the Charlie Brown moments. It was really cool. And surprisingly, Kristen Chenoweth voiced Fifi. She did the voice of Fifi in this movie. Wow. That really shocked me when I saw the end credits there, but to Kristen Chenoweth's credit, she did a great job. And as for the voice talents, everyone did a very great job voicing their characters. The characters sound exactly how they should sound, like in the cartoons. Like, they literally sound the same, and it's wonderful. Think about it. These kids that voice all of these Peanuts characters, they pretty much don't have really any experience, yet they came on set, voiced their characters, and I felt like each of them really gave it their all to bring all of these characters to life. So credit to all of the kids that voice the characters. And the film does have the same message we saw in the other cartoons, which is that always be honest, be true to yourself, don't change who you are just because others look at you differently or you're different from others. Always be true to yourself no matter what. The music in the Peanuts movie is fantastic. You still hear that classic Charlie Brown theme which I loved hearing in the theater and then you also have modern music that they play like surprisingly they would play that Megan Trainor song Better When I'm Dancing and it fits for this movie and the same thing could go to Flo Rita. Yeah, in a world where a Flo Rita song is playing in the Peanuts movie and it works. I never thought I'd see the day, but yeah, the Florida song, What I Like About You, it's a catchy song. I actually love the song personally. A movie is also never boring in my opinion. I was very entertained by the Peanuts movie from start to finish. It was very well paced, and I gotta say, for a movie that's nearly 90 minutes long, it didn't feel like it was 90 minutes long. Like, it felt like it was actually two hours long, and which I like that personally. It may have been nearly 90 minutes long, but it felt longer than that, and that to me is honestly perfect because, you know, the longer, the more you can really experience with these characters, and I love just experiencing this simple, basic storyline with Charlie Brown trying to impress a little redhead girl and seeing Snoopy by Charlie Brown's side. The film has a lot of heart to it, as you can expect from a Charlie Brown movie. It is a rated G movie in which we don't get rated G movies often now these days, so it feels so great to actually see a rated G movie, but a rated G movie that appeals to the whole family. And of course, I have to mention that the humor in this movie is great. I found myself laughing so hard at so many moments during the Peanuts movie. It's actually one of the hardest I've laughed at an animated movie in quite a while. Now, to be honest with you guys, I only have one flaw with this movie. Just one, and it's not even really a big flaw, to be honest. Just in one moment of this movie, how it would cut to Charlie Brown and Snoopy felt a little bit quick, literally in just one moment. And what I mean by that is like, for like 30 seconds, you get to Charlie Brown. Then for like another 30 to one minute, you get to Snoopy. Then back to Charlie Brown for another like 30 to 45 seconds. Then it's back to Snoopy. It does that for only one moment in the film. And it was just a little bit distracting, but not enough to take me out of the storyline. Overall, guys, I loved and adored the Peanuts movie. It is by far one of the best movies of 2015. And it is, yes, the best animated movie I've seen in 2015. So, guys, you know what I'm going to give the Peanuts movie? Four out of four stars. Yes, I'm really going that high for this movie. It is amazing. So, you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of the Peanuts movie. And if you had any history with the Charlie Brown cartoons, let me know. I would actually be interested to know if you had any history regarding Charlie Brown. 
This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!